Welcome back. Do you ever have a decor dilemma and wish you could just ask an expert like, say, I don't know, Brian Glugstein? Well, guess what? You can. It's time to ask Brian anything. And today we're focusing on patio styling and outdoor decor, definitely in his wheelhouse. So the first question is from Anna about a countertop choice for outside. Hello, Brian. We're in the process of building an outdoor kitchen and we get a lot of sun exposure in our backyard. So my question to you is, what's the best material to use for our countertop? Thank you. That's a really good question because we're seeing a lot of outdoor kitchens. The best use is a material like this. This is Decton. It's a man-made solid core material. So it's like a slab. It almost looks like a marble slab, but it's man-made. So it's not affected by the winter time when you have snow and ice and for food, it's not going to stain. You can put hot things on it. So it's the perfect choice for an outdoor kitchen counter. Clean and sleek, like it looks very good and it's going to be low maintenance. So nice answer there, Brian. The next question is about decking material. Hi, Brian. My name's Diane. I'd like to put in a deck in this back portion of my lawn. And I'm wondering if you could make any recommendations for what type of material would work. It'll be out in the elements all year long. Well, that's a great question. When you're going to use a build a wood deck, you want to use a composite material, and these are from Home Depot, and they're great. Don't they look like wood? They look so fantastic, and these are going to last for a decade or two or more. We have one that's lasted for two decades, and I've used it over the last 20, 30 years. They're really easy to install because you fasten these systems down and just clip the boards into it so you can lift them off if you have to access underneath but they're going to look great they're going to age well they're not going to change at all and they don't require the maintenance of a cedar deck that you know has to be sanded and painted and stained and things like this this gives you the look they're great for docks they're great for anywhere outside the composites just get better and better every year the color selection and just how real they look so mm -hmm. thanks for that answer Bri. The next viewer, Julia, wants to know what she should do to hide her shed. Hi, Brian. Just wanted to get your advice how I can make the side of this shed a little bit prettier as we have this view from our very nice patio. And also, what I can do to hide the dirt patch that is currently behind it. It's so interesting that you asked that question because my brother-in-law and sister-in-law just asked me the very same question yesterday. So what I've done, which I love, is growing plants on it. So I love climbing hydrangea. On this part of my house, I have climbing hydrangea and it covers the back of the storage area and we're gonna grow it along the house. At the back of my pool, I have a wall and that hides the mechanical equipment for the swimming pool. And look at the way, it was just a stucco wall. Look how beautiful that looks. So if you have a shed, it's a great idea to use a climbing plant and it gives you that look of a really green space and a hedge and then behind it where there's no sun just use pea gravel. Ooh, that is a good solution and that looks gorgeous that beautiful wall at the back. Here's the next question now and uh, this is from Amy. Hi Brian. I'm standing in the backyard of our future home. If you are starting from scratch designing a backyard for a family who loves to entertain what is one investment piece that you would recommend? Well, if you really love to entertain, the best thing is a dining table and chairs and an umbrella, especially if you don't have a lot of shade. So get a dining table and chairs and order some extra chairs if you have a lot of people over and leave them off to the side. If you want a little more relaxed dining, maybe instead of chairs, you mix it. A bench and some chairs, you can keep the bench off to the side if people are eating in a buffet. Or for kids, it's great to squeeze them on a bench. Now, if you're not dining formally, maybe you want to think of a sofa or an outdoor sectional so you can read the newspaper, work on your computer, entertain, and even eat on it and just have a coffee table. So if it's a casual dining and casual entertaining, maybe you want to do the sectional a little more formal. You can have breakfasts and dinners and brunches on the weekend. Go for the table and chairs, but also have an umbrella so it's going to be much more comfortable sitting outside. Now when you're in your yard, you want privacy, but how to get it. That's our last question uh, for you, Brian, and this is from Bev. We set up this area in the backyard. We wanted to extend the fence, but we couldn't with all the roots. And these trees obviously are not working. What are the best bushes for a privacy wall? Well, it's interesting you say that because that's one of the things I did when I moved into this house in the garden. We did a huge hedge, and you can do oak, 
or beech, pyramidal. And what's great about them is the leaves start at the bottom, they go all the way up, you clip them back. So you want to clip them and push them back so they get very dense and get very high. They're great, they give lots of privacy, they grow pretty fast. Ours are about 20 feet high and I love green in the backyard. The more I, Tracy, you know this, I love the more trees the better. I think everybody should plant lots of trees, especially shade trees. I love shade trees because in the summer the garden is in the shade and the house stays cool because the house is in the shade and in the winter all those leaves come off and this house gets all that sun and warmth. But beech or pyramidal oak are great solutions and you're going to have lots of privacy. You won't even see the house beside you. There you go. One-on-one -on -one access to the Brian Gladstein. Thanks for that, Brian.